it's pretty remote out here, you know, and you really got to have your wits about you. Probably not so bad this day and age, because a lot of travellers going back and forth, and it's quite a popular place to come. Mm. But back in 1963, the Page family, you heard of them? I have actually. Yeah. Now that's a sorry tragedy, isn't that's it? That's epic. I know. Mum, Dad, three kids, all three boys. They're driving along, right? They've got fuel, they've got water, and they're heading north. Now, the car breaks down. Well, it sort of semi-breaks down. They can only get second gear. There's some, something to do with the gearbox, a problem with the gearbox. And he knew straight away that if they couldn't get it out of second gear, they, they would burn too much fuel. And sure enough, they keep heading down the road, and before long, run out of fuel. Oh, is that what happened? Yes, yeah, so he's run out of fuel. Seriously? Yep. Now, at this stage, they got food, water, but it, it's peak summer. 40, Smoking hot. Over 40 degrees every day. Smoking hot. And they think, right, first thing we do is get a little bit, we'll get some water. So they, they head for what they see as a windmill, right? And I think it's a, a, maybe a few k's off the road. They head over with a drum, they fill it up with water, and they come back to the vehicle. Mate, if you break down, stay Maybe with the car. your vehicle. Well, <laughs> number one rule. Number one rule. Well, anyway, they stayed with the vehicle for two days. Here's the funny part. Well, it's not funny. It's not a funny story. But here's, here's the ironic, the, the, I think, the part that changed everything. On the second day, they took him, his wife, and the three kids, and they thought, let's walk to the nearest station because his son had been working around here as a jackaroo, right? So he knew. Anyway, so they start, there's a windmill with water, endless supply of water. The a vehicle. Team of wild horses wouldn't have got me away from that spot. They take the food and some water and they start heading away from the track. The car is on the track. They head away from the track into the bush, into the desert. For some reason, the daughter, which lived in Adelaide, alerted the authorities. Within a, within a few days, they, so they started the search. And it was, I think it was like five days after she alerted them or something, they found mum, dad, three kids, all perished sitting under a tree. out in the desert. That's horrible. Oh, mate. But it just goes to show, you can't take this type of country out here for granted. Mm -mm. You gotta think about, what if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? That's terrific, dude. I know. But it's one that reminds us that the desert, mate, can swallow you up and eat you. Quick as look at you.